It's vengeance time for the poor Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's time for time for the revenge. Starcraft Brood War. Yes, we built we quite the armor while well, separated. I sat here and watched and talked about stuff. That's what I do. <laughs> Let's go kill things. <laughs> we, have, we might have the best army ever, but we still have the best movement ever. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that's it's pretty stand. From what I've played in RTS, it's pretty standard. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's always is. fun when you get a bu so many units that they kind of derp around. Dope. Whenever they like Dope. have to Dope. go down here. <laughs> yep. Uh, Wait, this is actually, the Zealots are actually pretty good about moving, but fucking the goons are just getting like murdered here. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, they're they're. How, how moving, yeah, it's, how well, it's because there's only. It's because they can only fit one dragoon down the hill at a time, so. Yeah, you know. way that they, but that's okay, that's the way that they move. Like, look at this. Yeah. That's okay, because these guys, they have just decided to just destroy. <laughs> Those dudes are just like, oh, we're just gonna hang out. Hey there, little fucker. In fact, I'm actually gonna move these guys over here and just keep them as a. God. As defense, yeah, because there are those little zerglings that have a tendency to try and go eat your supply units. Which, you know, is a pretty racist thing to do, to be honest. Right, it's, it's, it's kind of what you do in RTS. <laughs> this, is, this is what you do in an RTS, but I mean, I think this is the first mission that the enemies at all done anything, like, offensive in that way. Like, uh, to the point, well, well, to the way of attack. Yeah, the first campaign. Yeah, they, they've been offensive. this one are pretty offensive. Yeah. Oh, I Mass guess that makes sense for fighting. So. <laughs> Mass destruction, ho! Uh, now all we need is Super Pac-Man. I don't know why we need that, but I want it for some reason. But, yeah, imagine each of these edits is a Super Pac-Man. <laughs> they are yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's, that is true. They are yellow, and they're eating everything with their energy blades. Okay, yeah. Well, I I imagine, imagine they're like I can just imagine it now they're like cutting up the buildings and just like <laughs> nobbing them. them. Yes. <laughs> Say like cake. Uh mainly I imagine the Zergs make a pretty bad cake. Well but us as he Zergs must be like, what the fuck guys? We're just hanging <laughs> out and I need a giant army. <laughs> oh, seriously. Imagine making out and seeing yeah. in front of your door. Oh man, I'd be pretty scared. I'd, I'd be like, I don't really want to wake up today. <laughs> I'm staying in bed. <laughs> I'm just... it. Yeah. Uh... I'm sure that's what a joke is thinking right now. I'm sure there's like at least one joke who's underground being like, Oh, whatever. Where do you visit? <laughs> yeah. Man. I I I want to so see that. I, I want to see it. lost five zealots. I've lost the goons in this group, the goons in this group, and the other zealots in that group. So I've lost this five zealots. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this game is set and match. Now let's go kill the other guys. Well, they had a lot more tongues, so I assume to lose some more units there. Yeah, well, probably with some, but I mean, yeah, I mean uh, I do like a shit ton of dragoons. Who I yeah, you do try to patrol. Like, I don't know. There might be some, some. I, I'm not sure how big armies get in competitive games, but I assume, I assume, if an enemy is coming through with this many units, you'd probably like this many dragoons. You'd probably just kind of like be dead. <laughs> An online game. Uh, no, yeah, no, the armies don't get booed up like this, so I guess you would be. Yeah. Man, imagine, imagine that, and so, and so yeah, is a rush, like, all my this. Is, is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. You can't make us this at all. <laughs> no. But as I said, you can't kill this very efficiently, we could have the goons having probably the longest range in the game, so it's like, you can't out micro them that well either. Right. Which is probably one of the reasons I like them, because you can't dodge to do them. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not the kind of thing that you can easily, like, 
Yeah, you can't just get someone up in their face very easily. It's like, now I'm gonna boop you with plasma. Yep. Guys, like, what in the hell? As I said, it was a really <laughs> lazy scouting mission. I <laughs> know. He's like, no, they just sent me out to nom some some guys, though. There was like, you know, guys. I'm a diplomat, from totally. <laughs> I'm a, a diplomat. diplomat. Uh, boop, yeah. Boop, boop and boop and boop. Booping attack. You know, actually, this kind of reminds me of what I'm going to bring up, though. Then again, we're kind of destroying them, so I might not yet. I'm not even sure. Just, oh, this is so sexy, though. I love watching all of the dragoons, just all of the bullets flying. Yes. I can, so I can definitely see why this is. Yeah. Definitely Poor see guys. why these are your favorite units. I could. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I imagine that they're pretty happy right now. I mean, they're being pretty successful. Or at least, well, yeah. at least one's a little bit. Ah, uh, probably none of the make it out alive. Oh well. Oh, I don't know. I think some probably will, but maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot of. I tongues. guess there are. Yeah, there are a lot of tongues. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't know kid. why the Zergs have. <laughs> Indeed, I don't know why the freaking Zergs have so many of these. Come on, can you make it? Stop. Stop. He yeah. made it out alive. He's a legend. Oh, <laughs> he's a legend. Yeah, we should promote him to... to other. Yeah, but he's the last of his oh. group. He's the last <laughs> of his kin. No! That's no! No! <laughs> oh, he's still alive. They did... oh, wow. Yes! He decided to hit the, <laughs> hit the thing instead. Nice. That's like he said, I just survived by doing nothing. <laughs> no, this guy, though. This, this guy who's been doing stuff, we should, we should promote him. I was gonna say we should promote him to like Captain Corporal Commander. He's now Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, right? Yes, he's Phoenix right. Yeah. Oh. You're Phoenix right the Zealot. <laughs> hey Zealot. Man, that sounds pretty rad. Planet of Phoenix, what was Temple Grounds, province of Antioch. The greatest hero and combatant to have ever existed in Proto's history. Yep. Is there any dialogue on this particular cutscene? Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's that seems legit. So I see there's a desert here. Yes, I don't know why the photos of deserts on the planet. I thought it was other <coughs> I guess it was other technology they can't tell from. Hmm. Now this is used stone buildings which look really ancient. They do. Man, this guy looks like such a badass. That's Phoenix for you. He's the biggest badass. Uh, He's a hero, a legend. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, legend would die by power failure. <laughs> Sir, I close to the Scion Providence was destroyed. The Prudes forces paid a high price for the victory. Praetor Phoenix, hero and steward of the Templar, was killed during the assault. The Conclave conceived that its str stratagems are winning the war against the Zerg, have let down their guard, and turned their attention to personal matters. The Judicar Alderus was ordered to find the arrest, the w uh, and arrest the wayward Tassadar and bring him home to stand trial for his crimes and treason. Now, with only a small fleet for protection, Alderus and the Executor have traveled to something. Executor. That's what they call him in the yeah. game. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no, I just, I mean, I think it's Burdus. Executor, but uh, they, they pronounce Executor. Executor, okay. I've traveled to the Ash World of Shar, hoping that Tassadar is still somewhere to be found. Yeah, makes sense. 
But yeah, that is unfortunate. I wanted to see like a big fight scene, but as you mentioned, it's just is just things power down for no reason. Just he wasn't using Duracell or whatever. Like I <laughs> say, like these commercials that exist, like they could make that a commercial like that. <laughs> Like, oh, you should have used these batteries instead. <laughs> why, why didn't they make that a Duracell commercial? Yep. Fun Tazada and kill him. <laughs> Why must they must surely know of our arrival? Because we kind of have a habit of stomping around everywhere. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't know. It's I their home planet. I guess. Yeah. It's pretty difficult to go Stacy when you invade someone's home territory. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know. If yeah. Like, I guess all my other guys decide that they weren't getting paid enough and left. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, uh, it seems, it seems to be a thing that happens a lot in RTSs. Yep, I know, I one of these, these guys. Oh, Protoss High Templar, sounds pretty sexy. It's pretty high. <laughs> it's pretty high. Alright, well that's good to know, hopefully DJ is high in magic. Wow, okay, yeah. Apparently he is. Yep, he's the highest magic skill in history. Wow, that's that's good. Pretty sure he's higher magic skill than the uh, avatar. No. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> died. Blood. Yeah. I love the also, death thingy for them. Yeah, the death thingy is even pretty cool. I like the walking animation for that guy. <laughs> he just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he feels, he's like, I'm a boss. <laughs> I know. Man, I wish I could do that for just floating around. Okay, so wait, th is this a, um... I'm guessing this is a combat mission then? Uh... I kind of... This will make, it kind of will make sense later. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, well, that's that's good to know. I suppose I enjoy when things make sense, but you know, then sometimes, sometimes it's fun when things don't. You know, what fun is there in making sense? So maybe I was wrong. So but hey, the person. Stop my guys from dying anymore. Yeah. Sounds good. I mean, you're you're doing pretty good at the micromanaging though. I mean, you stopped a couple more deaths. Yeah, I, I did fuck up the first guy though, which was sad. Yeah, we will. We will remember his name. It was probably Bob. 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 Bob Doon. <laughs> yes, Bob Doon, the the Protos. Uh, he was a that'd be the best. <laughs> yep, he was the best. But um, let's mm. see. So, it's <laughs> man. And also, is also the high pros is picture thing. Looks, oh man, that looks so cool. He does like the eye glare thing. He is. Jeez, he looks pretty evil. If she does, yeah, Tempest always looked extremely evil. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I'm not really sure either. I guess I assume there's still some like. Did I get the Tempest huh? are kind of douchebags? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember. There, there, there. Good and the evil kind of ish protos. 
Yeah, the Templars are mm. a bit evil, I guess. They're not outright evil, That's but like, they're a bit douchebags. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm assuming they're, like they're, they're more... They're like super religious, almost in a way, just not yes. that it's really a religion so much as just a set of beliefs. Like, yeah, I mean, like, for example, there's the Dark Templars. So, I mean, they, they right. banish the Dark Templars, so in that sense, they are kind of evil. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, man, we're gonna all see acid shoot at us. What a jerk. Who, who does that? Shoots acid people. Oh, my God. They're damaging me. <laughs> they're damaging me, and then they're going to damage <laughs> me. Her. I don't know. Uh, Can you stop jerk. shooting at me? But, okay, um, what am I doing with you, cunt nigga? <laughs> I know, seriously. This is starting to become kind of like, this is like, the, what, what do you call it? This is, um, that one old game that people like. Old game people like. There's like a lot of old games that people uh, like. Uh, let's see. It's a, the one where you travel across America and people die from dysentery. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that game, the Oregon Trail. See, it's the Oregon Trail of Buddhas. <laughs> Man, I want to play Oregon Trail, the StarCraft edition. So were you able to read the text? I because I it sounded slightly <laughs> difficult to read it. Like I was yeah, able to I was actually, read it. I was actually going to um mention that the text isn't unreadable, but um mainly the text has the issue like there's um there's not I'd say there's not a bold enough um, you know, thing around on the text. Yeah. So when there's like units or anything over it, sometimes the text is hard to read. Yes. But yeah, you to read it. Um, I got the basic idea. There's the guy Tassar, and then you know the High Templar, or whatever is like, no Tassar, I'm surrender to the Dark Guys, and Tassar's like, oh, but the Dark Guys are fucking hype. You should surrender to them. Also, I'll have you. It'll help you kill the Zergs or some shit. I don't know. Yes, and Jermaine knows you. We're one of the best lines in history <laughs> ever. He's like, I, I, I won't be talked down. To... <laughs> He's like, I won't be talked down to anyone, not even Protoss. Like, imagine <laughs> that. Like, if someone was like, oh, you should fucking super guy. Like, I don't talk down to me, bitch. <laughs> You're a fucking genius. <laughs> I see. I see. You had another really good night, man. Yeah, I was like, you came all this way. Like, like he's like, our whole planet is burning, and you came all this way just to arrest me. And he's like, don't worry, that happened to me before. <laughs> because it's Jim Rayner, like, like Jim Rayner, that happened in the beginning of the human campaign. Because right, of the right. fact that he destroyed that one building. Right, yeah. Then then the humans yeah, yeah. wanted to arrest him even though it was being run by Zerg. <laughs> so Jim <Rayner's laughs> like, oh, that have to be too. <laughs> this is Jim is yeah, really it's... good in this game. He's pretty great. He's a lot more in this game, that's for sure. Maybe now we have Tesla, uh. who's also fucking OP. 
Yeah, I didn't actually realize Tassadar had joined our side. I guess I missed him maybe a little bit, considering I, I, I assumed we were going to like go up against Tassadar or something. Well, if we were supposed to go capture Tassadar and bring him back. Yeah. And, but now we're surrounded by Zerks. <laughs> and we are kind of, right now he's like, oh, we should go find the Dark Templars instead. But we have not really made a call yet, I think, on what we are going to do, but obviously... But it would be kind of weird if he suddenly fought against Germain and Tessa, though. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. That'd be kind of weird. And I'm assuming, of course, well, obviously, sorry stuff. So I'm assuming if you actually went to, through the trouble of killing Jim Rayner or Tassadar, you'd actually just get a game over. Yes. So Tessa is uh, kind of OP. Yeah, I know. <laughs> seems, he, he, he's, he's not the strongest here damage-wise, but he has a spell that the other Templars have. But he at least mm -hmm. has an attack, the other Templars have, like, no attack at all. Which makes them kind of yeah. vulnerable. And yeah, also see. important is he has mm -hmm. a lot of HP. Like he has no, actually not much HP, but he has super much shield, like three hundred shield. Wow. Yeah. How much does a dragoon have? Eighty. So wow. Yeah, he has well over double what a dragoon has shield wise. Yeah, he has more than three times. <laughs> that is pretty. I mean, that even is that, pretty... I don't need sixty shield. Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured he'd ha he'd probably have more than the Dragoon, which is all I was asking, because, yeah, that way outranks his zealot. Well, what about... Yeah, so about three times as much as the zealot's HP. Yeah. The zealot have 100 HP points. They have actually a strong HP, but not a strong shit. Hmm. Yeah, the zealot, I think I remember, I think I noticed that the zealot's shields are kind of low, but they actually still take a good bit of punishment once they're down. Yes. I, guess uh, I mean, Dragoons actually have just as much HP, but I mean, you'd have more, less Dragoons then. Right, right. I still have armor, but the Dragoons... Actually, no, no, I'm going to also have armor. Okay. Huh. So, uh, but then there's Rambaina with 300 HP overall. Nice. Which is... Yeah. As much as this guy's shield, the Rambaina mm -hmm. has 3 armor, which makes him pretty good. Yeah. But the question is, can Jim Rayner play card games on that motorcycle? Jermaine is a card game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that's pretty intense. <laughs> they should they should have played that in some Yu-Gi-Oh! DX. It should have been Jim Rayner, the card game, on exactly. motorcycles. Everyone would have loved it. <laughs> they they'd probably... done, if they'd done it, Yu-Gi-Oh! would be famous, and um, the guys who make Magic the Gathering would be crying themselves to sleep, but nope. <laughs> Nope, and so the normal card games on motorcycles happened. Oh well. If Which you is can't still interesting. Yeah. It's, it's I still like I don't even know how tra how most of this stuff translates into actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But still I another thinking on to another weird reason that's given for a card game is I mean that's not exactly something you can advertise people actually doing. You can't be like, oh man, kids, race your, race your friends on motorcycles while playing car games. Yay, us as a spooling is actually almost never useful, but it's useful when you have this heal. Because it recharges What's people's doing? shields. Oh, and because he has so much shield, you can just have him, what you're doing, I'm guessing, is just like have him use a defense guard and then go back and charge your shield. Yeah, the guy who just runs. Because what you have to do is get to that place. So I just oh. have him slowly push a bit once in a while. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Sounds sounds pretty sexy. He's, he's kind of slow for a defense guy. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. It's kind of funny with the way they float around. You think they'd be a bit faster, but no. Apparently, floating's well, like you like most things with Protoss. It looks cool, but who needs efficiency when you're super future te technology guys? Yep. Hey. <laughs> no, stop getting hit, you <laughs> idiot. Stupid, stupid Tassadar. Oh no. Get to the chopper, right, Tassadar. Right, now he's really slow. <laughs> Jeez. Right, because those are just the slow guys. Yep. So that guys. They just say Tassadar just got pwned. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm not sure, I'm not fully sure, um, so I was actually 
kind of wondering, is there any way to build uh, hero units in multiplayer on StarCraft, or they just not exist? They don't exist. Okay. That's kind of what I figured, but I was I was a little curious. What if we need to think for balance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be interesting for balance. I, I guess, I, I, I mean, you. I can definitely... <laughs> yeah. That's a fair I mean, you know, even even with the fact that they might balance out some, I mean, freaking summoning Duke or summoning Tastar would be pretty devastating. Yeah, I mean, does Zex already have many heal units, in, at least in this campaign? Oh, right, have the Hunter right. Killer. Yeah, they have the Hunter Killer and the freaking, um, you know, the Okay, Kerrigan, but she doesn't count. <laughs> she doesn't even count anymore. She's not a hero. No, I, I guess. I guess I don't count her because of the fact that she. I don't know why I would say she doesn't count. I don't know. She just doesn't count. <laughs> uh, admittedly, even that would that would bring up a weird canical like problem of playing multiplayer. Cow again. At... Cow again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it'd be kind of weird if you're fighting like Jim Jim Rayner and Kerrigan versus Kerrigan. It'd be like what? So, but I guess what he then also counted into. He's, he's in this map, so would Jim Raynor be able to fight Jim Raynor? <laughs> that is a good question, too. Jim, uh, Jim Raynor and Jim Raynor action. Exactly. I'd pay, I'd pay to go to that, yeah. But, um... So, so I'm not correct, this map is decently fast, as long as you can watch through this. Yeah, it looks like they don't actually put up that much of a fight on your way back. Like, obviously, you can't just sell it with a few units, but... Like, I mean, the thing is, you have two units who have a lot of HP. Right, exactly. So, all you have to do them is bring them to the fucking portage thingy. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So, it's kind of, it's, yeah, it's kind of like the one with, with the shield, or if you do it right, even if you have to lose some units, you can generally kind of rush it down. Yep. Owned. <laughs> I got owned pretty hard. Wow. Ah, uh, that's pretty sick. Just a neatly lined batch of bloody carcasses. Yeah, that's uh, that's really good. That's I, I can see. Is stuck in the um player. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also a bit of a difficult one to use, but. Yeah, yeah, I. I assume that was the case of of that in the spell in general. But I assumed, yeah, especially like high-end competitive games, that's a unit that's probably used a lot. Yeah, like you know, like, like normally, even when I played the game, like you would go a lot of zealots and a lot of goons, and then at some point you would switch to having also those as you support kind of guys. Right. And then right. those three units would be mostly what you stick to for porters, actually. Mm -hmm. Besides Makes support sense. units, like for example, the guy we can see invisible. Yeah. <laughs> Invisible. Who, who needs to see invisible units? Yeah, you do need to see invisible units because of the fact that the in the expansion there is a Zerk of a unit that can take while it's ducked underground. Ah, yeah. So you have the problem that you, like if you literally can't see any invisible units, but somebody he can just run into your base, <laughs> duck his people down, and you'd lose. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Definitely not actually a very preferable thing to not be able to see invisible units. I was, I was joking because it seemed like, in general, if you can't see them, invisible units are pretty OP in this game. And with him being ducked underground, um, I, I'm assuming that means that you can't do the thing that you can probably do with invisible units, which is assume, like. Well, like, normally if you're having an invisible unit in your base and you have a, um, one of the lightning guys, I assume you can, like, zap where you assume they are if they're attacking a building or something. Actually, you can do that with the dog underground guys rather efficiently. Oh, okay. Because of the fact that they have to, because uh, you can see where that, like, the attack is very visual. So they mm. are dog underground, but they, actually it works really well against them because they are dog underground. Yeah. Which means yeah. that they can't move out of the way. <laughs> but I think it takes That's two lightning storms to kill one. Right, right. So it's still a lot more efficient. And normally this ha that happens a lot earlier than you can get yeah. these guys out. Because I'm pretty sure you actually have to research. Like, maybe you don't have to research the spell, but it's the be like, Jesus, getting kind of annoying. He's just <sighs> killing my guys like that. Yeah. 
This guy is being a dick. I don't like him very much. I wouldn't I wouldn't put these herbs on the back of the box. Even though they're on the back of the box. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're on the back of the box. <laughs> well, so, yeah, some were. But I, I meant these exact zergs, not in these units, just the, these exact zergs cool. were fighting right here. Nice. Boop of doom. So I don't know why these guys were in such a bad con like, position before I showed up. But they again <laughs> run out of all the workers and winners because it seems to be a portal thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. It's like, how, how are you guys in a bind? You have minerals, workers, um... You know, so you first you have zero units. Yeah, I mean, come on, he's here alone, should be able to carry this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can rush to what land here. You know, it, I know it'd be OP if he was faster, but it's 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 actually surprising Jim Rayner's motorcycle isn't faster. Like, you think he's he'd kind of fast? He just keeps being like, I mean, he's not super fast, but he's easily fast. Yeah, I see. He's, he's a lot faster when he's not being held back by, you know, the rest Everyone. of the arm. Yep. <laughs> that is a fair point. Boop. <laughs> oh, that lightning storm. Right, nearly wiped down our swing. It could, it, it, it put them down enough that they die, quickly. Yeah. What I could have done is put two down, but I kind of fucked up. Yeah, it happens. No, uh, wait. No, no. I love you. <laughs> Do you? Probably. Do you love Rainer? Probably. It's, as long as it's not Jim Rainer from the second game. Yeah. Even he's better than some other things. <laughs> yeah, like Sonic and uh, Sword Art Online. BS. <laughs> Ah, uh, Sword Art Online. It will, continue to be, it will continue to be my least favorite anime for a while, and I apologize for introducing you to it. You hated it I, more than I did. Did I? I think I did, actually. Yes. So, the series, the series I mean, certainly I saw this, I saw the like, later half of it, and I was like, hey, you probably not going to like it. I'll try to see it. You don't like yeah. it at all, do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did get pretty angry at it. Yeah, I think mainly that's due to the fact that it's one of those, like, ridiculously overhyped series. Where everyone's like, man, Sword Online's so no, great. I'm like, no. oh. <laughs> Rina and Tessa, they both died. Two yeah. eights. They both <laughs> had eights. Two eights. I don't know why. I'm not sure. That's a pretty good question. But, um, yeah, I like to say, I think it's mainly because it's one of those, like, super overhyped shows, and I actually, like, heard about it at, um, you know, college, and I was like, come on, you guys are freaking college students, shouldn't you have a little more ability to not fucking be stupid? Right, a lot of people like the show, yeah. I don't yeah. know why. I don't know why either. <laughs> I have, to, I have to claim I can't even see anything admirable about it. It's, it's the show. The show is pretty much I don't know a power fantasy thing, and it's a pretty fucking terrible one too. Would not do. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, speaking of, speaking of shows that are pretty well known that I actually like, unlike the show I was just talked about, um. I recently watched like Attack on Titan today, as I was kind of mentioning earlier, well, and it's it pretty cool. Um, it's it's basically it's basically a show about um, and it does it does have some logical errors. So even if I bring up anything, there, I'll admit that it's not the most logically sound show, but at least it keeps its focus and it's generally a nice spectacle and fun to watch. I think it's gonna work down among us. <laughs> I think so Fuck too. Fuck shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm, I want to fight more Zerbs. Fuck you guys. Uh, I really should not have got my guys so wounded. Yeah, he, he's freaking, freaking Rainer is kind, kind of dying. Why was I kind to repair him because of the fact that Portals don't know how to repair? 
Well, yeah, they can't heal, heal human units, makes sense. <laughs> I'd be pretty surprised if they did actually know how to fix this motorcycle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they should have improved it. They shouldn't prove it. Man, I want Jim Rayner on a Protoss motorcycle. Yes. Okay, let's do this. See, you why didn't they put that attention. in StarCraft 2? Yeah, I don't know. I, didn't, I just didn't have the, not the understanding of the <laughs> universe. The, the understanding of this land? Yes, and none of Joss's land was not very great. <laughs> Indeed, it wasn't. But, um, yeah, it's Attack on Titan. It's pretty much about the last of humanity being, like, in this one town, because they're all of a sudden out of the ground popped out these giant dudes called, well, what the fuck, they're called Titans. Oh, and I they pretty much. They have a called giant dudes. <laughs> oh, that should have been what they, that should have been the show. Attack, attack on giant dudes. Yeah, we're helping him, I guess. Yeah, America. <laughs> Jim Raider's face just pops at the end <laughs> for no reason. He noticed that. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting him to say something, but he just kind of he's like. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> yes. All right. So. Choosing sides. Pointless command ship. Kevin saw. I can't. I love that. Like he's like, hey, you should stop switch. Like you should go back to us. If you, if you switch sides now, we um like forgive you. Mm -hmm. And then these two argue. Like I haven't even said anything. He's like, you've been warned. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm done. It's like, what did I do? <laughs> Seriously. I was totally was... planning to switch back to your side, but fuck you too. Uh, honestly, I just want to go. F can I just pick a third option? Just go fuck off with Jim Reiner. <laughs> Well, Jermaine has fist tested us, so I guess that's what we're kind of doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was just saying... I want to invite Jermaine as he is because of the fact that we fought him as, with Kerrigan and we destroyed his people, remember? Right, That's right. why he's I don't... stranded on this planet. But I'm not exactly like, ah. sure what Kerrigan planned because she's like, Oh, I'm going to let you live, <laughs> but I'm not going to leave you with a ship to actually get away <laughs> from you. <laughs> right. Jeez. Even just Jermaine kind of has bitch. a ship. It's a <laughs> yeah. ship with shot. Like, he stole the ship. He stole the command ship from the... Mengst. So I have no idea what he was, why he's stranded here, but for whatever <laughs> reason he's stranded with us. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm not really. I'm not entirely certain. I still like this. Ma uh, bring Tassada and two zealots to the installation entrance. Because I oh, guess two man. zealots are totally gonna make the big deal here. <laughs> this is an important bit. Can't forget the two zealots. In fact, if Tassada died, just bring like three zealots. So no one will know. Yeah. I mean, I, I gotta try it. It's totally not gonna work. 
<laughs> but, but just you gotta like, try. Yeah, you gotta try. That's the way it is. I think I'm lying, but I shit once. If I like, if I'm not wrong, you can pull it off by just beating it a lot and hoping that you swear the one with the people and it will not get destroyed. Right, right. I actually am mad at Actually, yeah. Um, we we might want to just try it with one for the fun of it, but I'm actually thinking, um, You're maybe the we should. Biggest damage will be those guys, which see me, I can actually kind of pull. Wow. No. Ah, yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. No. no. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Worst comes worse. I actually think we should try to micro this, um, just for the fun. But you know, it'll be a quick mission that way. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be too bad if we build like I don't know five yes. of these ships. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> I wonder how, maybe maybe we can tell the guy that we did that on purpose and let us. Yeah, see, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> did oh, what you wanted us to. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got rid of Taz. <laughs> Taz and I was like, this is a damn plan, Commander. Okay, you do what I say. Tessida, you might, you might, like, Tessida's energy shoots are so strong, why doesn't he, like, fucking manage? <laughs> like, he, he, I, I, should, like, I should, like, glue Tessida to the edge of the ship. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty legit. <laughs> Just glue Tessida to the ship. Oh, um, whatever. Yeah, no sense is to... Okay, let's see if I can... I'm trying to get it from an angle very... Like, technically, I, I can even drop my people. Right, I see what you're saying. And as long as they don't die, then yeah, you actually don't want. See the ones that that made it. He can he can use <laughs> the new Tessida. He's, yep. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if, if if that was the case. It just you Zealot shows up and it's like here's the new Tessida. I saw what I like. There's a lot of fine details about this game because the rank that your guy currently actually has is the mm. rank that Tessida was before. That hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Ah, oh, the kid. No. <laughs> oh, no, you can do a task. Sorry. Only for the two zealots. Yeah. <laughs> Poor two zealots. <laughs> so, so, but certainly, you're try, certainly trying to do this like a man. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, wait. Come on, Zelots, you can make it. The plumber said guy would kill himself. Oh, there's a suicide a... guy, and he um, blows up. Does a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, but I swear, it's like six drop ships or whatever. You could pull this off. Yeah. Well, I was actually saying. I mean, we might as well do that. <laughs> it'd be I, fast. I, I would... Yeah, it'd be fast. Well, it's basically actually kind of what I was just. I was thinking maybe we could do the six. We could try and see if that works, and. uh you know, go for a quick mission here, and then probably end the part after the next cutscene or whatever. Make sure you add that's end the part. Okay, sounds good. Well, in that case, thank you all for watching, and we will see all of you wonderful peoples next time. Take care.